my chickens, how are you all? In this video, we're going to be talking about probabilities in a very simplified way. We're not going to be talking about dependent, independent, we're not going to be talking about factorials, none of that. We're going to talk about the concept of the probability and the good news is that the SAT hardly ever asks you about dependent, independent, the way they test probability is very simple. And if you understand the core principle of probability, you're golden. My name is Katya Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast. If you want to learn probability, you want to learn uh, factorials, you want to learn how to read faster, you want to learn how to read more accurately, grammar, anything. So let me try to use my method and teach you this probability thingy. So I want you to remember that probability has to do with possibility. When we say that something is probable, we mean that it's also quite possible. So probability and possibility are dependent. They are like this. Now, desired possibility is something that we want and total possibilities is, is the total number of outcomes. So let's say we were to roll a dice. I don't have a dice with me, but let's say we were to roll a dice. And if you can imagine a cube, how many sides does it have? If you said six, good job. So there's a total number of six sides. And when we roll it, it will eventually stop on one of the sides. So the total number of possibilities is six. The possibility of hitting a specific digit, one or two or three or four or five, is one. Because when we roll it once, let's say we want to get a four. We want to get one, two, three, four on this side. Um, how many fours are in the dice? One. So therefore, we're going to have one over six. This is the principle of possibilities, of probabilities, possibilities, the desired, which is usually going to be less than the total. Again, these are your proportions. This is um, your uh, cross multiplication techniques. Everything is going to be very helpful. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about a simple problem that requires you to know uh, probability and the hard one. I usually recommend that if you are a strong math student to only watch the hard one here, I want you to watch both the simple and the hard one. They're both quite tricky because you need to be very careful identifying what is your total number of possibilities when you're looking at a chart. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.